Hello and welcome to Frenic CS. Today I want to talk about how you can use and set up a CMake project within VS Code for your professional C and C++ projects. So let's get started. So first of all, let's assume we already have a CMake project by our colleagues defined, but we want to use it in VS Code. For that, I'm here on my GitHub profile and I have created a very, very nice C++ CMake project template, let's say. This template includes tools like uh, unit tests, Clang tidy, Clang format, Conan or VC package for external libraries, and many, many more things that every modern C, C++ project should have. So we could just clone this repository, for example, and then we can uh, yeah, look into how we can open and configure and build and run and whatsoever in VS Code. In my case, I will just clone this onto my desktop. Let's change into this directory and let's start VF, VS Code. So first of all, you should have installed at least three important extensions in VS Code. However, if you have already installed my CC++ extension pack, then you have already everything installed. But uh, let's let me talk about this. So there is the official CC++ extension by Microsoft and the CMake tools extension by Microsoft. And in addition to this, there's also uh, this CMake extension by the user TWXS, which is just for, let's say, um, yeah, IntelliSense and auto completion for the CMake files. This other CMake extension, that one by, by Microsoft, is uh, for the UI to start uh, building and configuring your project and so on. So by default, every CMake project, and hence also this CMake ex extension here in VS Code, expects that you have a CMake a list.txt file in the root directory. If it's not in the root directory, you could also set this by a certain CMake setting. However, let's assume we just have it like this here. And then you should already see in the uh, lower blue status bar uh, some icons. So here we have the icon CMake colon debug colon ready. Then um, obviously no kit selected and a kit is just a compiler kit let's say or a compiler we want to use then we have this gear icon for building we have this um yeah default target we can choose from we have this little uh, bug symbol the play symbol and if it's configured also this uh, c test uh, icon here and this is already a bit, I would say, familiar to my uh, C, C++ runner extension that I've uh, shown you shown you in a previous video. There we also had this, uh, let's say, um, selecting between debug and release build. Then this compiling step is this gear icon. Um, yeah, executing the executable is the play button, and this little um, bug symbol is starting the debugger. However, at first we need to select a kit. If we click onto this. Um, yeah, this CMake extension will search for every installed compiler on your on your PC. Uh, note, these compilers must be on your path, obviously. So for example, here on my Windows machine, I have installed Clang by the MSVC compiler. Then I've installed GCC by Sigwin and I've installed Visual Studio uh, 2019 and 2022. So I have a lot of compilers I can choose from. Uh, so let's just, for example, select uh, this Visual Studio a 64 bit compiler here. So then I've selected this. Here we can select between we want to configure um, yeah, debug or release build. Let's just configure the debug build. And now the configuring uh, configuration step starts, which just uh, checks at first if your compiler is uh, able to, let's say, com compile a simple C or C++ program and so on. And afterwards, everything is set up. If you want to define uh, a special compiler that is not shown here, for example, you can do so um, by going to view command palette, then CMake kit. And here you can go to edit user local CMake kits. And here you can define um, yeah, some special properties, for example, if you want to have this for a certain compiler, maybe to set uh, the platform version, the toolset version, and so on. Besides that, if you want to see what settings are available, you can go to the uh, lower left corner, click on this uh, big gear icon, then you can go to settings and here you can go to extensions and then to 
CMake tools. And here we have some settings we could set. So for example, uh, where the build directory should, should be stored. Also, you can specify the CMake path if you have installed CMake multiple types on your system and your project, for example, needs, uh, C, I don't know, exactly CMake 3.18. Uh, and you have installed uh, CMAX 3.26 somewhere else, you can define here which path you want to use for the current project. So in the meantime, the configuration is done. And now we could click here on this build button and then the compilation starts for our yeah, external libraries and for our own code, let's say. Uh, sometimes you want to, let's say, uh, sometimes you have changed something in your CMake files, then you need to reconfigure your project. For that, the easiest step is go to the command palette again and then type in CMake reconfigure. So this delete cache and reconfigure, for example, uh, then the, the configuration would start again. However, this is only needed if you have changed something in the CMake files and you don't want to start a configuration and building at the same time. In the meantime, let's go back to the command palette. If you type in CMake, you would also see every uh, other yeah, operation we could uh, start here, let's say. So let's go back to building. Since I'm currently using the MSVC compiler, um, the all target is call here called all underscore build for GCC and Clang, it's just called all. And if you click on this here, you get a drop down menu of which target you want to compile, for example. So if you are only interested in compiling um, one single component of your CMake program or CMake project here, for example, our own library here, I could click on this. Then here we see the lib is only. Um, yeah, selected, we can click on build again, and then only this selected target is built. If you now would click on run, we get a, a drop down menu for every executable that is defined in our CMake project. And in this CMake project, I have defined two executables, the main executable and the unit test executable. So we can choose between these two. If I just uh, choose the main executable, uh, it would be executed. If we now want to start debugging, so let's say I just want to add a breakpoint here, my main function, we can now click on this uh, little bug symbol and the debugger would start at this point. So I would say it's pretty easy to get started with a CMake project in VS Code. Yeah, so some people might think VS Code is only an editor, not capable of doing advanced stuff with C or C++, but that's, that's not true. Yeah, the CMake integration is great and hence we can do everything what a senior professional C++ C++ programmer uh, could do with other, any other IDE, I would say. Also, as you uh, have seen here, we can use the MSVC compiler in VS Code. You can use any C++, C++ compiler in VS Code for the CMake project. So if you are working on a team where you have to use the MSVC compiler for your Windows applications, for example, you don't have to use the standard Visual Studio IDE. You can also use VS Code, which is what I do on my uh, daily work because I don't really like the UI of uh, the standard Visual Studio, but I like the workflow and UI of VS Code much more, for example. So that's all I wanted to show you in today's video. If, if you have any questions, you can, uh, yeah, write a comment. Then I would say if you want to learn more about C, C++ and especially about CMake, I've also have a great course on Udemy about CMake projects for modern C and C++ projects. Uh, you can look into the video description. There I have a link to all of my English Udemy courses. And I would say we will see us in the next video. Have a great day. Bye bye.